Palpatine protection. Mm. Good night. You know, we have a celebrity on the line right now. Hello, good night. Yes, yeah, sister, good night. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah, man, bless up on yourself, you know. You Big know, up. One, man. Um, oh. You know, enough ones and oh. ones. Oh, it's not the... Oh, and mistake. So uh, them, them actually are called. might not know me still. Yeah. You get what I say? But ones and ones in the streets might know me as Imhotep, so... Imhotep. You know, Imhotep from the mummy? The mummy? Well, if you want to call it that, yeah, well, for us, go, yeah, man. But yeah. you even like that, you do some research still. You know, you know? You do some research, but it's still it's a whole different thing. You get me? Mm. Okay, family, so who are your artists so before we get in or nothing? Who you are bringing for the class? No, man. Yeah, man, a team still be missing straight up and so be a giant or a tree that we're gonna yeah. get yeah. so again. I don't want to, all right, so I just want to clarify a couple of things that yeah. is being discussed as it relates to him striking other people's channel. Yeah. You know, that's a misrepresentation of the facts. That is not so. Mr. Vegas now run up and down a strike nobody channel. Well, he well, well, we did see killer post up a, a strike. Family, let me explain. Go on. Copyright day, strike. Need, copyright strike. Needs, yeah. Strike a strike. It needs yeah, go context. on. It needs context. The conversation needs context because what happened is this now. When the war just start, Subi went on platforms and he made it very clear he says i have no problem if anyone wants to use my content during the war do not disrespect me that's that's all he's saying don't don't use no homophobic epithets along with my name so mm. here what happened now the man them hear it you know and he made that clear now when the war start get hot now missy man start dress up the man in a dress Missy man start do all kind of homophobic epithets. Mm. And, these and are that the I flag as the man talk. Complaining. Good. These are the same people. You see, a ball now, I say, he must strike channel and whatever, whatever. Now you see them resort to clutching at straws where they are saying that him strike teach them channel. Who knows to teach them come out and say, Sue be striking channel because if Sue be striking channel, he's going to know who strike his channel and, yeah. and what. Anybody striking mm -hmm. channel, you get what I say? Fox. Yeah. Fox. So notice, you know. It's just a talking point where everybody has said, oh, he's trying to teach them to sway a public opinion now against him. That's the whole agenda, you know. A lot of these people, it's not about the music. It's not about dance hall. It's not about the resurrection of the original dance hall class culture. It's not about the music for some people. Mm -hmm. So the most people, the people who are the most destructive in trying to suppress these wars are, are the people who don't care about dance hall. That's the sure. reality. Because if they love dancehall and care about dancehall, they would do everything in their endeavor best to make the clash go on and boots on the clash. Yeah, dancehall need this to true. That's the reality. That's the reality, you know. Since thing come and gone, then we never get no look of nice clash. So dancehall really need That's that clash after true. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And these are two experienced dancehall artists. Them have a rivalry that goes back over 20 years. What better clash can you have right now in terms of setting a template? Mm -hmm. Setting a template for the younger artists them to say, yo, I saw the clash thing figure. True. You understand what I say? So what I'm saying is this now. This whole tear down and hate thing and oh, so be a strike people channel and them something there. It is misinformation in the context that he makes sure come out and warn them and say, nobody can apply no homophobic epithet to my name and use my content and monetize it. Mm -hmm. And I agree with him with that. I'm going to stand with him with that any time, any day. You can't try to style me and I still I use my content to monetize your channel. Mm. Yes, it's very simple, you know. Take a neutral position. Well, Go on, enjoy well the probably, Go on, for tell the truth, for tell the truth, anybody that probably strike them in the situation there. Mm, yeah. Is it anybody? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, so I'm just saying, family, right? You don't have to take a side in this war. If you are neutral, you are neutral. If you take a side, it's very simple. It simply means that you're going out. If you take a side and you're going to put a little, you're going to put a video with uh, Mr. Vegas in her dress, and you think that is funny, then you know, say, here we go on now. Yeah, you can't use Mr. Vegas content because it's not the clash you deal with. And the clash you deal with. Brother. Man, the bloggers have to stay mutual for true. Well, anything they want to do, basically. 
vloggers are free to take vloggers sides. are people also anything mm. they want to them do they're free to take sides Is but it? if they're gonna take a side just bear in mind say here go on, you can't put me in a no skirt and a gimmicks me and a style me like that and still want to use my content mm -hmm. so nothing wrong if vloggers want to take side but what i'm saying is this now this whole narrative to say, oh, he might go around on a strike people channel, nothing like that. He made mm. that very All right, Carlos, a question we... from the comment section. King so, One knocks, big up yourself, thanks for the donation. And he's saying to ask you why Vegas still whiz about his mom. You know the song, right? Uh, well, that is, something, that is something for that Mr. Vegas have to explain that. Which point? Uh, when did they tell him that again uh, in the song? Or, uh, no, something. no, I mean, he. He, he told, he told, he disrespected him in that way, if him see it that way there. Because we saw what was going on as well. Because here we go on now. And we know too. We have some man a call him on him channel and a diss up the man. All right, fine. I hear a platform or whatever. But if you are going to allow man to call him on your platform and a diss up and a style the man, just expect no, someone well, to retaliate too. Well, it, it, another way they work, you know, because I remember saying, of a, 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 a a platform like ours, right? I see where people can call in, just random people. So people just call in and, and make for them opinion and cuss bad word and all I, them something there. I, that, you know, really have nothing to do with weeds. I just weeds for, for cut them off if that's something the case. But that I, you mean. I totally agree with you, brother. But guess what go on now? We on the ground and we have observed the war from its start. And we know who weeds have round him where I, I, I press him button and I call in too. It's not like you have your platform now, you know. And you have your, you know, objective people or anybody can call in, you know. Wiz will have some people call in and then now him have a little clique we're calling to. Because we are observed the gun and we are called a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. We are keep it 100. Him have, him, him, have, him, him have people, random people who will call in and then will say what they must say. And fine, that is fine. Him have also for him clique of people them where him allow to call in and style up and this up and whatever, whatever. So we just call in a spade a spade because nothing is wrong. If random people call in and them say what they must say. But but there is also a bigger ulterior motive at the end of the day. When hmm. when every night you have such and such people are calling and we know what their agenda is because we have been observing the battlefield. Mm -hmm. We have been observing the battlefield and we're just keeping it one hundred. And that's the reason why you see everybody now get defensive and I try to change the narrative we say. Mr. Vegas has tried people channel. Yeah, but, but uh, well, and the two but great commenters like said that. Teach them was a long time ago when they had a disagreement with him using his content. So I guess Teach them never in another one year. Okay, but no, but in today and yesterday, and that then did I say on a recycle, right? To make it look like something uh, we're brand new. That uh, is what they were saying. All right, so Shane Star, Shane Star, thank you for the donation and say Emotep wasn't uh, people dissing Bounty and Rick Storm channel. Did you tell them not Hold to? On. Hold on, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the regular Joe Smo or Carl and like that. We're talking about vloggers. We're talking about context. Mr. Vegas spoke out against vloggers trying to disrespect him with homophobic epithets and using his content. This is the context of the conversation. Some some women not understand why the person that go say people mm. are calling and whatever, whatever. My people question though. Criticize. My question Who are you to Mr. Vegas? Well, Mr. Vegas, I'm a brother. No, so we don't because say. from me they attack, you know, to the way they attack, yeah. you know, you just start like somebody. Like a random fan. Yeah, you get me? Come here, you attack, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm asking the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, and the people them know to the people them who know the streets and hear my name, they, they, they know me too, man. I just saying, God, I just call me a calling still. We just said some clarification on this strike thing. Yeah. You get what I say? So, so there is no mis misconception or the perception. It's not like you might run around the internet and strike people channel. The people them who get strike, if you ask them, ask them why them get strike and show the reason, and it's a different conversation. Mm. I'm just telling you the reality. All right, so one more question from the comment section. Winston, thank you for the donation. And you said, ask this caller, how does he feel about Vegas calling people dunce and stupid and Rick Stam's channel if they like Bounty Song more? Um, Mr. Vegas is not calling anyone dunce and stupid because they like Bounty Song more. What you see going on on the internet, though, you will see people will come in the comment section and then will say, 
batty boy gear gas, gear gas and fish and whale and you know what those kind of thing is like they are just trollers. So mm. those are the people who will come in and they will just say gear gas, gear gas and batty man gear gas and whatever, whatever. So those are the type of behaviors where he will, you know, be combative in his rhetoric and say, yo, you know, behave like you know, a dunce. And that's the reality because if you depend on the internet, and all you can do is just troll a man and say, gay gas, gay gas, and rear gas, and batty man, and whatever kind of homophobic epithet. Something wrong with you. And the reality that. Understood. Just a speed, a speed. All right. So before we let you go, you know, we have a relationship question where we are short. I just a random question tonight. What do you think yeah, about no, no. the females who come on social media, you know, expose themselves to get like a views and comments and likes? Yeah, here we go on now. You see, we, we have to respect our women and let them feel empowered. You understand what I say? There should be no restrictions on to what a woman wants to do. If she's, if she's single, that make it worse. She's free to do what she want to do. And if she's in a relationship and she have a conversation with her partner, and them come to some form of mutual agreement. Yeah, man, she's free to be an influencer. That's just the reality. So it's a show enough for everybody has been an influencer. No, hold on. What I'm saying, she wants to show off her body in what way she perform. Are you talking about exposing themselves? Well, you know, you know, them behave on social media, always a back it up. You know, them she know them front and all of that. Camille too and all them some of them. Oh, all right, remember, I said there are other platforms where they can do that. Not true. Mm. Right? Mm, yeah. And this has gone on for years, years. Remember, I said we used to look for all the magazine them before the movie came yeah, out. Before From that. The 70s, 80s. Before 70s and 80s. So there, there was always a niche market for that type of thing. You get what I said? Mm. So here we go on now. If a woman wants to choose a certain lane and do her thing over there, so that a fear choice. And we, as a society, we must learn to respect a woman for fear choice. But what I say is that them have a niche market and them have an area for it and them do them thing. Me not go judge a woman for what she want to do because at the end of the day, a woman is free to do what she want to do because a lot of us, we cannot take no moral high ground. Yeah. We cannot take the moral high ground. We must respect our women, right? Respect their choices. If you are a woman in a relationship and she decides to go a certain route and say, boy, you know what, you know, say, I'm going to be a dancer. You know, if you as a man, you know, agree with that, you just make sure you know, say, you know, say, I agree with it, but if that is what you want to do, I just saw it go. It's either you stay or you go. You yeah. understand what yeah. I say? But this, this control thing where we want to determine how a woman act and what she do in her life, them days they're gone, brother. Gone. You understand mm -hmm. what I say? We must respect our women and respect their choices in life. As it relates to their development, if them see say boy um sex sells because we know say that sell magazine sell like hot bread, yeah. parents sell like hot bread. You understand me? I say when people create them own them own only fans account, they make money. So it sells. It, it has been that way for a very long time. So if a female see that's a way for her to make her money, then you can't fight her because you do have females who are on only fans and them not asking no, nothing, but they are making crazy money. Mm. Just engaging with their fans and them something that you have females who sit down for a phone call all night and I talk to some man and them I make money. So I'm just saying, you know, women are free to choose their way of life as it relates to where they want to do on social media or what they want to do as a form of female empowerment. And us as men, we don't have to accept everything, but we should respect their position. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And we cannot always use the moral high ground to say, oh, that is not right in my eyes, hence it is absolute. No, it is subjective. You not like it, it is relative to you. What is good to you can be bad to me, not true. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the, that's the approach we have to approach this whole conversation, though. Is it, that's is? just my take on it still, you know? Big up. Right, big up. Family, family, but yeah. before you go, because you know, we produce music at the studio also, Pelper Time Production, I don't know if we can line up a rhythm for... Vegas for the war or just for a mutual tune. I've already feel. Yeah, well, well, as me as still, yeah, man, you don't know go. Me talk to him about that still, and um, the sister, big up yourself, you know. But you said something where you know we don't agree with, but you respect your position. You and what's that? The whole, you see, you see the whole bird paper situation. Yeah, you said bird some people. things where yeah, you should not have said it still in reality. You get what me I say? Bird paper. Uh, yes, yes, a previous man. program, not this previous program. program. Yeah, man, a previous program. I'm, I'm just saying there are some things that was said where if you go back and you look at it, you would have said, well, uh. maybe 
you know, I, I might not have said that in hindsight or in retrospect. But but we'll come back with the program. Then. We live and we learn. We live yeah. and we learn and we evolve still. But, you know, sensitive topics, you have to yeah. make sure, you know, you take a very um, objective position and not a subjective one. You get what I'm saying, sister? So you can go back at the video and look at it and, you know, we live and we learn, man. It's not to say, you know, bash or anything like that. Yeah. Thing, but we just don't agree with that stance because in a court of law, no man can go in front of a judge and say, judge, she tell me she's 18 or 19. No. The law is going to oh. say that ignorance is no excuse. Mm. That's the reality. Oh, I realize where you talk when I say the right. man them now go asking a bird paper or yeah. what. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, that, that's, a, that's a very, um, you know, mm. let's say that's not the ideal position to take as it relates to this conversation. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, as men, we have a responsibility as well to ensure that we are not breaking the law when we are dealing with these females out there. The no, but then again, you know, these children, car, children yeah. them act like big people, yeah, them just know. like big people and all of that. So in hindsight, you as a big man, you will go, go somewhere, you book a girl, she look, maybe 20, 22, based on how she dress, how she talk to you and all yeah. of that. You want to have sex with her, you're yeah. not going to say, yo, baby, you're um, she she to tell her wrong age, you're not going to say, let me see your bird paper first, or right. stuff like that. I you get me? I agree with you. I agree with you. However, however, if that child is underage and the matter is reported, why is the perpetrator being charged? Why is he being charged? Because they should report it. Okay, and it's it, it's against the law. Not yeah, but like me did say in the same program there, I said I know that that the female and I come forward and clarify nothing. No, 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 that's fine. I'm not even talking about that matter. I'm talking about a generalized conversation. Mm -hmm. You get me as a sister? A generalized conversation where you would say that some of them little girls that them go on like say them a big woman, but us as men, it is our responsibility to ensure we are not breaking the law when we engage yeah, but with these females. You might think say no color, but other man not at the time to think that you know them just know say them cock I go somewhere and I decide them want it for go. So them not take the time I, out for to find out what them supposed to find out. Sex and that's I it. I agree with you. I agree with you, but guess what? You see in a court of law, let's look at it from a legal perspective. In a court of law, no man can come and say, Your Anna, she tell me if she had it 17 or 18. No, the judge is not going to take that. No lawyer is going to accept that. Well, I think they should make a law where if the pit is wrong as well, she get punished as well. Fair enough. It's what them get no, punished. But how, no, but listen me, sister. By law, a minor cannot consent to sex. But, so but me ask the question again. How are you going to know that that child is a minor? If that child tells us she is 22, how are you going to know that she is a minor? But but sister it is your duty as a man to know that's why i'm gonna ask you again do you guys ask for a id or a bird paper no, to actually know the me age say, no. as as me saying no me as a man like this listen me i'm 40 years old right and here we go on now me not look for no 18 20 25 year old me, me not look this so, so that kind of conversation is not even applicable to me but me understand what you are saying mm -hmm. because here we go on you, you, you can have an 18 year old youth and he might say a 14 or a 15 year old these things are going on. It's a societal norm. It's it's just wrong, though. It is wrong. You understand what I mean? I said, but a little eighteen year old, him can see a fourteen or a fifteen year old, and him and I will engage. Technically, technically, what he's doing is against the law. Mm. And what I'm saying is that if him supposed to go to court, his excuse cannot be your honor. You know, so she tell me that she has seventeen or she has eighteen. The judge is going to say ignorance is no excuse. So I understand the angle where you guys are coming from to say that, you know, sometimes they will tell lie or whatever. But also, as an adult, it is your responsibility to make sure, say, you know, whoever you're engaging with, you are doing it legally and by consent. And technically, if a person is under 16, they cannot consent to it. So even if the person says, come on, me are 18, man, yeah, man, me get you. You cannot go in front of a judge and say the person consent because legally they cannot consent. The age of consent was changed from 14 to 16 and that was like 1989. Family. That was, that was the time when it was changed. No disrespect. From 14 to 16. No disrespect, family, but we got to go.
<laughs> big up. No problem, man. Big up on yourself, man. Bless up on yourself. Is it? Yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Cool. All right. So, one next. Thank you for the donation. I guess I'm going to read it out because you get what you pay for. Carlos, indeed. Chainsaw, big up yourself. And you said, I see my Vegas posted the same clip. He's talking about disrespecting you and then delete it from his Instagram. Hey. The way the program started to come, let me forget about them two links in the comment section. You couldn't remind me? Boom! Pearl for Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pearl for Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit. Your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot. You name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pearl for Time TV production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa Time Production! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time Production! The Pelpa TV! For Pelpa Time! It's a Pelpa Time, you know it's that time! Pelpa Time TV! I'm governor representing of Pelpa Time, you know. Pelpa Time, you know what the thing top? I win as a Pelpa Time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa Time thing with no coffee! I'm on a Pelpa Time and I represent for you see with Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time right now. Oh, Pelpa Time. I want to them, them. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. We're down for Pelpa Time Productions. Pelpa Time Production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa Time. Keep it locked. Time represent for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa, for Pelpa. Pelpa TV. Our TV. It's Pelpa Time TV. Cross. Help a time protection. Mm.